Karens are one of the most infuriating types of people, thinking they're above the law and believing everyone should follow their rules. But what happens when Karens abuse their powers as a worker and get arrested on the job? All right, go ahead and put your hands in front of you with your thumbs facing up, please. Is this gonna go like on the news? Chances are it will, Jennifer. From refusing to leave work drunk to stealing from the cash register, these are times when entitled Karens get arrested at work, starting with arguably one of the most shocking. No! This is resisting. This is not resisting. resisting. Most people can't wait to get off work for a day, but these cops are about to meet a woman who's insistent on staying put even after she's been fired. On the 20th of February, 2023, two officers received a call regarding a heavily intoxicated employee at a car dealership. She'd arrived at work that day on time, totally sober, but as the day wore on, employees and customers noticed she was getting more and more drunk. After confirmation, the company fired her. Unfortunately, though, things weren't going to be that easy, and she was refusing to leave. She was on the phone, mm -hmm. and one of my other employees downstairs heard the person that she was on the phone. Mm -hmm. And you stopped drinking while on the job. So we just terminated her, like, probably 10 minutes before I called you guys, oh. and she's refusing to leave. Hi, ma'am. How are you? Hi. You doing okay? Yeah, um, hi. What's your name? I am Officer Caffroni from Fomai's Police. Hi. Um, how may I help you? No, how may I help you? What's going on? Oh, uh, nothing. I'm just trying to figure this out. I'm Do you have any idea why I'm here? No clue. Just Would you like yeah. to know what I'm here for? That's your problem. Well, I, I know what I'm here for. That might be your problem, actually. Uh -huh. That might be a business of yours. I'm also in law school if you want to take down my um, lawyer's information. Well, I don't want to talk to you just yet. You just yeah, ignore yeah. me. Okay, so, so she was I administrator of the company. Mm -hmm. my... Yeah, that's her desk. It's immediately obvious how drunk this girl really is. And she's also instantly appearing avoidant and combative. The owner had already asked her to leave multiple times at this point, but every time she'd just ignore the commands and continue to work. And as the cops continue to question her, she only becomes more delusional. You obviously are professional. I mean, so it's my understanding they're terminating your employment here at the Chevrolet? Well, what's confirmed is that I need to have someone pick me up. Did you guys officially ask her to leave the property? Yes, yes we did. Her mom was on the phone after I Yeah, my mom said that she was on the way. Her mom said she's not coming to pick Look, her up. No, no, let me call my mom on speaker. You need to leave the dealership now. By refusing to leave, she's only making things worse for herself. Her employer has every right to call the police as she's now trapped passing on the property. If she doesn't leave, she could start to rack up a serious number of charges, but she seems to believe she knows better than the law. Okay, so I, I asked my mom to come on the way. Your mother told me she's not picking you up. So who, what's my mom's name? I don't know. She was on the phone. <laughs> we're, we're telling you you need to leave. You're going to be trespassed. So I can't, I can't call my mom and ask her you to don't. They up? don't want you to use your, their phones, okay? So I can't ask my mom to come pick me up? You can use your phone, not mine. You have a phone? Mommy, mm -hmm. this is my mom. The girl then calls her mother and talks to her in Spanish, explaining the whole situation. But before she has a chance to hang up, the cops decide they're done with her games and decide to move in to arrest her. However, as you might expect, this Karen was about to do everything she could to make things as difficult as possible for them. Hey, okay, I've had enough. We're going. We're going outside. Are going you outside. touching me? Let's go outside. We've yeah, asked you to leave. Purse. Let's go. Have your purse. We're going outside. Time to go outside. I will. I will pick myself up, but don't touch me. Okay, let's go outside. Okay, We've let asked me you to leave. My purse. Let me grab my purse, but do not touch go. me. Okay, Outside. my lip gloss. Bro. Like, like, bro, what the fuck is wrong We're, with you? We've guys? asked you to leave. It's I'll time to go. Stop. That's okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. Put your hands on your head. We're, no. we're not doing this. We're not doing this. Bro, stop! Stop! Mommy. You guys want your back? No, this isn't resisting. This is resisting. This is not resisting. Stop resisting. I'm not resisting. I'm literally so innocent. I'm innocent. It could have been super simple and you could have just left. Like, hey, hey, what are you doing? What my are you doing? Purse, my purse, no, no, no. my purse, that's my purse, that's my phone. I don't know what you were drinking, my dear. Pretty strong. You know what, you guys? This whole company's gonna be sued. You Come on, just... take me up, bitch! Take me up, bitch! Well, you could have just left like a man. I, I wanted to leave. Fuck this. Stop, stop moving around. I don't give a fuck! What? I'm in law school! I have a clean record! Okay, but. Like we said, you could have just left. I wanted to leave. I tried to leave. They wouldn't let me. It didn't seem like that. They wouldn't let me. 
way. Take these shit off of me before- they're not, they're not coming off. Her threats to sue the company are pretty baseless, especially as she was later charged with disturbing the peace, trespassing, and resisting arrest. But you don't have to be drunk to try and escape from the law, as this next suspect shows us, when she finds herself on the run with nowhere to hide. You gotta back up. You, be, you gotta back up. You gotta back up. You keep running up on me. You slammed a girl. On July 12th, 2022, a reckless driver began to cause chaos in the streets of New York, leading several people to call 911. The suspect's vehicle was soon spotted by the NYPD, and an officer decided to pull it over and question the owner before things got any more dangerous. But the officer wasn't prepared for what he would be faced with just minutes later. I'm going DoorDash. Going DoorDash? Yeah. yeah, I got my, what you call it, tight on everything for the bike. You need a license plate for it now, so you can order to use it. Went through it, you can see on the DoorDash thing and everything. I can use the bike for DoorDash. I'm picking up a delivery right now. Yeah. You can't have this on the road. Wait, okay. it's on the sidewalk. Yeah, it's a 49cc though. It doesn't matter. If you're using it on the road, you have to have it registered to New York State. Do you have any paperwork for it at all? Yes, I do. I can show you right now. I can see your license. Can I see your one? Yes. In New York, reckless drivers can come with a punishment of 30 days in jail, but that's only if it's your first offense. If you've been caught out before, then you could spend even longer behind bars. But it appears reckless driving isn't the only problem here, as the bike the driver is using for her delivery job has no license plates. There are many ways the driver could have dealt with this situation, but in classic Karen fashion, she started to argue with the cops and seemed determined to finish her deliveries. I don't understand. I'm doing Uber Eats. I, I I'm doing a job. You me to she has a license. Well, who, you were driving I, this. Though. Yeah, but I was driving too. Yeah, but she was but driving. Right there, I'm about I to show you my title to the bike, sir. Right. I'm just trying I to. I understand. I understand, man. But I don't you need understand. To have a I'm doing but a job. Clearly, the driver wants to get back to work, but the problem is, if she's driving without a license, then she could be facing a further 15 days in jail. She needs to prove that she has a license to drive, but instead, she makes a crazy decision that would land her in a lot of trouble. Driving, Any question yeah, is, there's there's no no driver? Yeah, but... I'm getting away. Stop fighting! Stop fighting! Michael's trying to take my bike! Come on, I'm doing it. Yes, I'm not assisting the I'm not assisting the I'm not under arrest. You're under arrest. I'm not assisting the arrest. It's frankly hilarious that this entitled woman was trying to claim that she wasn't resisting arrest while simultaneously running with her bike, writhing on the ground, and pushing away from the officers. She's already gotten herself into a terrible position where she could mitigate the damages by just producing her license now. But instead, she chose to play it the hard way. And it's not long before bystanders try to get involved, making an already tense situation even worse. I'm gonna back up, don't touch me. Oh, you scared too? I'm scared. Yeah, you scared too? You gotta back up. You bet. You gotta back up. You gotta back up. You keep running up on me. No, no, no. no. Keep recording me. You don't need to. He slammed a girl for no reason. He slammed on the floor. You're not from around here. You're raised in a white neighborhood, and you scared of black people. This bystander is making some pretty bold claims, but the suspect was trying to escape. And police in New York are authorized to use physical force when they need to arrest someone, prevent escape, or defend a person or property from harm. Tensions were high regarding cops in New York around the time of this arrest, so it adds an extra level of stress for the arresting officer. Touch me, I'm gonna sleep you. I'm not hooked. You attacking us a female. Don't worry about me. That's my uncle's a Ha, you told him I'm doing Uber Eats. Then provide the game or he's not run. It's not a run for no reason. Because now. you're harassing yes, me. He's telling me I need a license. I don't have a license for the bike. Now I'm harassing Plus, I'm not run. She has just admitted to not having a license for this vehicle, but suggesting all she could do was run is definitely the wrong move. Although the outcome of this case is unknown, this driver could be facing a hefty fine and even prison time for driving without a license and resisting arrest. Lying to a police officer is never a good thing, but gets even worse when you're supposed to be the responsible one, just like this elementary school teacher who's about to find out that lying to the cops comes with some serious consequences. A legal standpoint, I'm going to go ahead and make the arrest. So you're going to arrest her and take her from here? Again, there's two ways now. You can look, view an arrest as she goes to jail, or I could cite and release on her own recognizance, provided she's got somebody that's sober that can come and take possession of her. In just a couple of weeks, there were multiple incidents of drunk teachers getting out of control in the classroom in Oklahoma. One of those cases was when a teacher named Jennifer showed up
showed up to her class in September 2023. Before the first bell even rang, her colleagues knew something was wrong and they could smell the problem a mile off. How you doing over there? I'm good, how are you? Oh, double standard of the week. So what's going on today? They said they had reports where I was drinking at school. Okay. And they which has never happened. When was the last time you had anything to drink? Uh, last night. Okay. How much did you drink? Just a glass of wine. Nothing major. All right. Well, would you be willing to submit to some tests? Yeah. All right. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to check you for HDM. Okay, this is what we call standardized field sobriety test. The standard field sobriety test is the go-to method for police, and although it's not always accurate, it can help police determine if a suspect is under the influence. Normally, we see these tests performed at traffic stops, but this teacher is about to get tested in her own school. Okay, all right, can you see that right there? Mm -hmm. Okay, I want you to follow this with your eyes and your eyes only. Don't move your head, you understand? Mm -hmm. Okay, just track on that. Keep your head as straight as you can, okay? <clears throat> All right, this is what we call our portable breathalyzer machine. Depending on what type of breathalyzer machine the Oklahoma police use, the test can be accurate to within 0.01%. So lying about how much you've drank before you take one is not a smart move. Yes. Don't, you don't have to take the test, but this again would be your opportunity to prove this. Sure. Okay, you willing to take that test? Yes. Okay. I haven't had anything today. Well, <laughs> if people have tied a really good one on the night before, it can carry over into the next day. But if you had one glass of wine last night and you didn't have anything else after that, one glass of wine isn't going to carry over into the next no, day. No, I mean, I went to right. sleep. Okay, what's going to happen is when this thing tells me it's time to blow, I'm going to have you reach over with your mouth and blow into that as hard as you can until I okay. tell you to stop. Big deep breath, blow. Hard. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Good. I don't even know what that is. 0.06. Is that? You are just under the legal limit. So if you were to be out driving right now, you would be charged with DWI, driving while intoxicated. Even so, Jennifer decides to maintain her innocence. Had anything to drink today. Okay. But I'm under the legal limit, right? So under the legal limit just means that you're under the legal limit. It shows that there's alcohol in your system, so you are still technically intoxicated. Like if you were to be out driving right now, you could still be charged for DWI. Not DUI, but DWI. Oklahoma has a zero tolerance policy for drunk drivers, and even being slightly under the limit can land you in trouble. Although this isn't a traffic stop, it should be clear enough indication that Jennifer should not be at work, let alone in a classroom full of kids. But Jennifer still says she hasn't had a drink at work. And in typical Karen style, she demands to know who accused her. This makes me mad for somebody to say that I had stuff here. I've never, and I know it's a small town. Yeah, like Major Mallinson was saying, that we're not, we're not privy to that information. We just get a call and come do what, you know what I mean? The thing we'll have to do there, just to speak the school language here for a second with you, is just, she's not gonna come back if she's not willing to give me a letter of <coughs> resignation. And that's something you'll work out between with her. But from a legal standpoint, I'm gonna go ahead and make the arrest. The school is trying to make this as painless as possible by giving Jennifer the opportunity to resign. If she doesn't, she could be fired, which would not only create an embarrassing situation, it could affect her chances of getting another teacher's job elsewhere. I have not had any, that's what I'm saying. I haven't had anything today. Okay, well again, I don't know your drinking habits. If somebody drinks a lot, and if they run with a normal BAC of, say, about a .06 or 0 .08, that's what feels normal to them. Okay, from a legal standpoint, you're still intoxicated. When, yes, I, checked, when I checked your eyes for horizontal gaze nystagmus, you had every clue. You had the lack of equal pursuit, you had the onset of nystagmus prior to 45 degrees, and you had nystagmus at max deviation. If I had pulled you over, I'm going to be honest with you, you'd have been arrested for driving under the influence. No, today you're going to be arrested for public intoxication. I would just like to know who report, like... And I did not drink today. Well, That's I'm going to tell I'm you doing. from a legal standpoint, when people call in and report a crime, of any crime, we're not in the business of telling people who made the report. I, I know reasons you behind that. Okay? I understand that. If you think things couldn't get any worse for Jennifer, think again. As it turns out, her own child is a pupil at this very school. In terms of your employment here, Jennifer, we, we can't move forward with you being a teacher here any longer. Okay. I would like to resign. Can yeah. I her not be a rip, like, <laughs> handcuffed out, please? The police department operates under policies and procedures, and I can't treat you any di more different than anybody else. Or we're setting ourselves up for liability. Through. My child is in the third grade hole. 
where where's the classroom window at? I, it doesn't face out to this no, parking lot right here. I don't know. No? Okay, no. we'll be okay. Yeah. Your ID be in here? Yeah, I can get it. I'll get it for you. Once you're in custody, we have to search all belongings, okay? But even in the face of her arrest, her fellow teachers allow her some dignity and promise to handle the situation as delicately as possible. A noble decision, especially when you consider that she could have been endangering the lives of dozens of children. All right, go ahead and put your hands in front of you with your thumbs facing up, please. Is this going to go like on the news? Are it will, Jennifer. I, I don't have control over what they put on the news, but there's a good chance that news reporters will probably show up. I will be as discreet as I can in, in terms of how I handle Could it. Could we, please, I've never been in trouble in my life. And hopefully this will be the last time too. But despite the teachers swearing they'd handle things as discreetly as possible, the case did make the news, which is at least another step to making sure our kids are never put in the care of dangerous people like this.